Alright, so in this video I'm going to walk you through how to download, install, and set up the RoboForm software. The RoboForm is a free piece of software that you'll be using in order to help you fill out your surveys a lot faster. I highly recommend uh, that you do this. So first you're, we're going to go to RoboForm.com. Now once, once it loads, uh, do not click on the Get It Now button because that is for a paid version that we will not be using. Uh, the, the free trial is perfectly fine. You can click here to download. You can also go to the download button on the taskbar up top and you can select which operating system you want to use whether it's uh, Windows or uh, a Mac. Now I have RoboForms set up. I use Google Chrome as my primary internet browser. It also it works with it, uh, Internet Explorer and Firefox as well, as well as uh, Safari and Opera. So let's go ahead and click on Download Free Trial. It's going to download. It's about 11 megs, so depending on upon uh, your internet speed, how fast it'll download. So go ahead and click. Now this might auto this might automatically install to your desktop wherever it it does. Go ahead and, and run that file. Now it's ex it's ex it's uh, extracting the program files. Okay, now we're on the in installation page. Select your language here. I use English, and click on Show Advanced Options. Click Next. Okay, you select which web browsers you want RoboForm to be installed into. Now I only use uh, Google Chrome, so. Uh, it's pre-selected for me. You can select any any browser you want. This is just my personal preference. Leave this option checked and we'll click install. Leave all these alone as well. Click install. It's telling me that it needs to close my web browser which is fine. We'll click install again. And now it is installing. Okay now on this part um, I'm going to choose for it just to install on my computer anywhere. You can do this if you want, if you have multiple computers, if you have a, uh, a laptop or a computer, uh, a smartphone or an iPad or an iPhone, whatever, and you want to share your logins amongst them, you would choose this everywhere. I'm just going to have this set up to be saved only on my desktop and click on next. Now here, this is where it's asking me to fill in a master password. So, choose your master password. Now, this master password is used whenever you want to access your RoboForm settings. Uh, you will need to input this password in order to change anything. That way, if somebody else uses your computer, they cannot find out your information just by clicking on the RoboForm icon in your browser. They will need to type in the password in order to do so. So after you put in your password and then retype it to verify, click on next. Okay, and now this is installed. Uh, RoboForm is right here under underneath my uh, web browser right here. I'm gonna hide that message and that's pretty much it. You can uh, view these videos or tutorials if you need to that's up to you now we're going to click on this button right here set up form filling this is going to ask you for your name and select your country where you live now I'm just going to use uh, fake information here use whatever information you want and you choose select your country as well. Click OK. Alright now here's all the information that we need to fill out. We're going to start with the identities tab. You see there's everything right here that you can have RoboForm automatically fill out for you. So first your title. Put in Mr and s select a uh, just a middle initial and if you have a suffix you would put it here 
Now right here, you would put your job title, whatever it is that you want. And here you put in a your phone number and extension if you need to. This is, would be your home telephone number, work phone number, a cell phone number, a pager I suppose if you have one, fax machine, put in and email address right here, a Yahoo ID, your uh, MSN Messenger ID, your AOL ID, an ICQ number, if you have one, and then your Skype ID. Come down and you select your, your sex and your age. Just put in your birthday. Your place of birth. Put in your income right here. Put in your social security number. Now, you don't have to put in all of this information. Uh, the more information you put into RoboForm, the easier it will be to fill in this information to your to the survey company so that you don't have to type in all this information all over again. Now, this information is stored on your computer. It's encrypted. It's safe. Nobody can ever see it. Now, your state, driver's license number, and then... your driver's license expiration date. We don't have a note or anything. Don't need anything there. And now we're going to click the save button. Now if you want, we'll go down to business. This is if you have a, a business, but this is not needed at all for uh, filling in surveys passport which we don't need we will need to fill in this which is your address so put in your address here and if you live in an apartment okay put in your city name and a zip code and the uh, county name right here. The country is the United States. That's from the previous tab where we chose that. You can click save if you want. Go to credit card. You don't need to put this in. You don't need to put bank account information in. Anything about your car. <clears throat> now I would suggest you fill in the authentication part. Now for this choose the user ID or the username that you like to use the most. This is when you're setting up accounts at the various survey companies. You won't have to choose this. And then you just put in your favorite password as well. For your password question, pick one that you like. Um, the most. no need for a note and we click save and there's no need here for anything custom so that is pretty much it on how you set up RoboForm over here you know this is the logins tab which is not needed bookmarks no n none of these are me are needed now this is all of your information right here so uh, you can click always on top if you want or uncheck it. That's up to you. That's saved. And now you can just X here and close that out. So now, every time you're at a website, you have logins right here. 
this is if you've saved your login information to log into a website. You could even save your login information to log into trustedsurveys.com if you want to. Anyway, when you get to a form that you need to be filled out, you would click on, on the name right here. You could just click on it. You can click Fill Forms or Fill and Submit. I recommend just clicking Fill Forms, but you can just click on the name. If you ever need to generate a password for anything, you can uh, just mouse over this and it will show a password for you uh, that you can use. It just generates a random really good password. So that's pretty much it on how to set up and use RoboForm. It's very easy to use. And in the next video, I'm going to walk you through how to actually sign up for a survey company and use RoboForm.